Hi, this is Pastor Harley Wheeler with the Broadway United Methodist Church. I wanted to share with you from Psalm 95, verse 1. He says, Oh, come, let us sing to the Lord. Let us make a joyful noise to the rock of our salvation. Now, he just said, let us sing to a rock. But first he said, come, let us sing to the Lord. This is, this is David, one man, speaking to the person next to him. You know, since it's written, he is able to stand at your very elbow and say, come, let us sing to the Lord. You know, that, that even, even the uh, most practical and down-to-earth of us, those who have as little of a, which you might call spirituality or fancy about us, sometimes we have broken into song. Sometimes we told ourselves we need to sing and make that song unto the Lord. Let, us, let your joys be made known before him. And David says, this is what we should do. Let us sing to the rock of our salvation. First, talk about him as the rock. That uh, we know some things that we hope will save. They often don't. We know some things that we're, we're mindful that might help us. Sometimes they do. Sometimes they don't. But David calls God's salvation that rock. We can be sure that God help, will help us. We can be sure he hears our prayers. We can be sure he loves his people. And so, you know, David says, let us sing. It's not that singing to a rock can change the rock. I urge you to do it today. I could sing to this very table, and I doubt that much would happen with the table. It probably wouldn't appreciate it a bit. But singing to the rock of salvation is not so much to uh, change God. Uh, in fact, you know, we, we must always remember praise when it is called for in the Bible isn't because God seem, somehow jealously wants to be told how wonderful he is. David says it's fitting. It's fitting that when we finally see ultimate salvation, power stretched forth to accomplish love, we should sing. So be blessed today and be joyful. Sing to the Lord.